my sweetest Joel. Today is the day we've been praying for, baby. Today is our wedding day. Baby, I'm so blessed and humbled that you choose me to be here forever. Thank you for accepting me as I am and knowing that all my faults and still choosing to love and pursue me as I am. I pray that my husband would love and cherish me just the same as you do. I can't wait to see you, my handsome. See you at the altar. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, on behalf of Joel and Destiny, I want to welcome you as we gather in the presence of our Lord to unite them in the bonds of holy matrimony. It's the same loving God who has brought destiny to you, Joel, just as God brought Eve to make Adam whole once again, so God has given destiny to complete you. I have loved the way you love me. Thank you for respecting, cherishing, and always pursuing me. There is no greater feeling than being loved by you. I will always strive to love you the way the Lord has called me to. I vow to never let you stop dreaming and to be supportive about the things you're passionate about. I promise to be a woman your heart can trust. You are truly beautiful. You have such a joyful spirit and a heart so caring and compassionate. You are willing to serve and you are such a hard worker. It was something that attracted me to you from the beginning. I promise that my life will be dedicated to taking care of you. I promise to never give up, even when I'm exhausted. I promise that I'll give you everything I can to demonstrate my love for you. I promise to always remind you of how deeply God loves you. Christ's love for his church was so profound that he willingly gave his life for her. In the same way, you must commit to loving destiny unconditionally. Loving unconditionally means you will do whatever is best for destiny, with no regard for what's going to cost you personally. Unconditional love is based on a decision of the will and not on emotions. Follow Jesus' example of love and sacrifice for his bride, and as you follow his example, you will ensure that your marriage will be all that God intended to be.